With more than 80,000 people facing hunger in Montgomery County, Theater Horizon in Norristown decided to bring awareness to the issue through its Grand Concourse play, as well as its Imagine No Hunger exhibit. When I first heard about the idea of Imagine No Hunger, I was really excited. Um, a couple years ago, we partnered with Horizon Theater and we did Imagine No Homelessness. Um, I like their community plays. I like their involvement with the community, that they bring the actors out. Um, I like that they use service providers to be part of panels. And it's just a really good way to educate the public about the needs of people that are on the margins. And to do it in a fun and artistic way is always great because I think people remember that more than they just remember a lecture or somebody talking at them. Well, uh, the main reason I went to go see Grand Concourse was because one of the actors in the play, Ariella Soro, she came into one of my classes one day and she kind of talked to us a little bit about the show, about the exhibit, and she offered us uh, free tickets to go see the play. So a bunch of us in the class went to go check it out. This photo exhibit is um, at the theater to accompany the play called Grand Concourse. The play is about a soup kitchen in the Bronx. It's much bigger than that. It's really looking at many different issues, including hunger, poverty, food insecurity, the role that volunteers and staff play at soup kitchens and, and shelters. It works to try to also help you understand um, some of the challenges that the residents face, some of the homeless individuals, and I think it really helps to um, address some of the stereotypes that people might have about uh, both the homeless and um, even people working behind the scenes at the shelters. I think that any time um, the people that I serve get to speak for themselves, that it just enhances their life and helps them to overcome in other places as well. And then to actually go to the play and see themselves um, is just really exciting because you can see how much they like it and they're not so invisible anymore. I was interested in working on this project because I just want to uh, improve my photography skills, uh, continue to learn, and then um, at the same time we could put a face to the issue of homelessness. Throughout the project, at each of the shelters we went to, or at the soup kitchen, had the opportunity to not only just take pictures, but to ask people questions, to give them the opportunity to address issues of food insecurity and hunger, or to not talk about that at all, to just talk a little bit about their own hopes and their dreams, what uh, their wishes were for, for the new year. Um, to say really whatever they wanted. Too often, that voice is taken away from, from the homeless, for, from those who are impoverished. And, um, so throughout this exhibit, we have a lot of the quotes, the sayings, the um, really the, uh, the words of the people. I think it helps um, any kind of artistic endeavor helps people because it gives you a language that doesn't require words. And I think that sometimes we work with a lot of people who might not have the words to express what they're experiencing. It was, it was really nice to see people come in and um, uh, look at our photos, watch the play that was going on, because it, it shines light to the problem. Uh, it puts a face on the problem instead of just seeing a bunch of homeless people. Now you like, can see um, how they live. Well, one thing I really learned uh, after attending was that um, hunger is something that's been going on for a long time that not, I feel like not many people talk about or it's not talked about as much as it should be. I learned that not every homeless person is strung out on drugs, and not every homeless person is an alcoholic. Sometimes it's just people with mental disorders that refuse to get help. Sometimes it's people with mental disorders who don't even know they need help. Sometimes it's just people who a series of unfortunate events just happened to them and they just ended up on the street. And sometimes I learned that some of the smartest people, some of the happiest people, is the people who have nothing. So that. that that play taught me a lot. It was amazing. It was amazing to see uh, their reaction to their own photos on the wall. And it wasn't just the residents. It was 
a couple of the staffers who came and the volunteers who were walking around looking for their photos and giggling a little bit and pulling other people over to see it. So it was really, it was great. Now, I remember when I was taking the pictures, one of the person whose photo I took, you know, I said, is it okay to take the photo? And he's like, yeah, of course. Um, and what he said to me was, you know, I'm, I'm used to people looking down at me. He said, but now, you know, put these on the walls of the theater, they're going to have to look up to me. What feels great is knowing that people are coming out to learn something and to learn something more about something they don't already know.